deep web is vast, thousands of times larger than the visible surface web. It's like looking under the hood of the internet. It would not remain underground for long. The Silk Road was a new relationship between individuals where the government couldn't control what people bought and sold. The Silk Road administrator, known only as Dread Pirate Roberts, or DPR, was generally assumed to be the creator and owner of the site. Informants were activated. The site was crawling with law enforcement posing as vendors and buyers. Authorities say they have their guy. 29-year-old Ross William Ulbricht. I want to have had a substantial positive impact on the future of humanity. DPR took the risk. He was willing to do the things that most weren't willing to do. This was a guy who saw himself as the leader of a movement. It's not about selling drugs as much as it is to make a political statement. American law enforcement hacked a server. They didn't have a warrant. They completely got away with it. This was playing fast and loose with the truth. This peaceful guy, certainly not the guy that I'm reading about. Were there other people using the DPR account? At least two other people, if not three. Or was there some other truth? It's a theory I'd never heard before. Instead of Ross being Dread Pirate Roberts, the real Dread Pirate Roberts framed him. I'm not buying drugs on the network. Why do I care? Can the government use hacking techniques to dig up evidence on a suspect? We are making the tools to take back our sovereignty. You can take down the man, but you can't take down the idea. 